Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Martyrs of Persepolis, where we last left off. Shit really hit the fan after surviving an encounter with the deadly Night Lord Space Marines. Uh, oh, fuck. Or a single Space Marine, singular. Uh, the party has now found themselves under ambush after crawling to a Lehman Russ and having it blast the building that they were just in to smithereens, only managing to wound the Space Marine. They have now found themselves attacked by the blood-packed forces who they had yet to encounter in the city itself. So, everybody, the night around you explodes with violence. Tracers, shells, mortar rounds whistling overhead, thumping the ground around you. The sky is a snowstorm of metal shrapnel. What would you like to do? I make snow angels. <laughs> uh, talk about a great time to join the party. So there was a like an artillery here, right? A uh, Lehman Russ, yeah, battle tank. Yeah. Uh, is is there a way to get underneath of that? Yes, there is plenty of... Uh, there's about a foot or so of space <clears throat> between the ground and the Lehman Russ and the yep. hull of it. You can get under. Yep, get under there. Yep. You gotta go through that to get to me. Yeah, you oh. dive for the Lehman Russ. Uh, give me a an agility athletics. Um, this, I don't know what this means. A six and a one. No. Oh, um, yeah. Well, the, the one cancel, so one success. One success. That is enough to get you there. Um, yeah, you feel uh, shrapnel pepper your uh, flak armor but not penetrate as you dive and frantically scramble up under the Lehman Russ, uh, which now you can hear its all its uh, bolter sponsons and its main battle cannon just unloading in every possible direction. You hear the sharp crack of las gunfire, uh, as well as the more hearty sort of palm noise of the auto guns of the Blood Pact. Uh, the rest of you... Uh, Scrapper has just uh, dove under the tank, looking for cover. Um, yeah, uh, can I get to some high ideal sniping ground? So right now you're in a town square. Around you are buildings roughly each are around two stories. They're not exactly tall. And after you leveled one of them with the Lehman Russ, now you are under attack from all directions, unsure of where the enemy is. Um, so if you would like Age to run... Christ, this is not ideal. It is not. Um, if you would like to run into a... Uh, if you'd like to try to find a sniper's position, uh, give me a... Yeah, yeah uh, I'd, I'd like to get into an What do you think would be an appropriate role position. for that? Like, uh, insight, probably? Or not insight, no. Um, uh, awareness. Into awareness. Okay. Cunning uh, is more of a social skill. Oh, fuck. Um, let's see, so that's a 6d6. Why are you complaining about 6d6? Uh, remind me again, what's the oh. success? Four I have up. An, it's a 4 up. Okay, so that's two sixes, a 4, and a 5. I think she made it. Yeah, I think you made it. Um, <laughs> so there's a few options. You could climb on top of the tank. Uh, you can see that on the, uh, the pintle-mounted storm bolter, the commander is slumped. Um, or you could run to one of the buildings, or maybe scale a tree. Although the tree wouldn't offer much, uh, cover from some of the heavier, uh, fire you're taking. Yeah, I think it would be better to try to scale a building. Okay, yeah, you, uh, can run through the front door of one of the hab blocks nearby and scamper up into a second-story window. Uh, with that success, I'll say you start to acquire targets. Uh, it's clear that the Blood Pack forces have moved into the... moved using the alleyways and side streets, gotten very close to you, 
Some have taken up positions in other hab blocks. Others are using uh, taller hab blocks that are a few blocks away to uh, rain fire down. Uh, JT, Calicus, what's the plan? I feel like I, feel like I should also do sniper -y shit. Okay, you're following? Um, no, I want to be somewhere else where we can have like a cross kind of like yeah give me each a other. give me a similar roll then give me awareness the uh, awareness or... plus int uh one success not bad um not great either oh wrath complications something unexpected happens okay let me roll a d100 then i yeah because i don't yeah i'm using the foundry module now so it's a one success, one failure, wrath complication, something unexpected happens. Okay, that is a yeah. 16. So that Perfect. comes under a weapon malfunction. Um, oh, I can roll the complications. Oh, yeah. But, uh, Do that. Matter. No, roll in the uh, foundry model thing then. Um, machine spirit. Some technology in the scene malfunctions. This could be something you own, something you're interacting with, or something in the environment. A stray servo skull or a uh, cherub could interrupt whatever you're doing. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. Um, the tank takes a direct hit. Uh, a crack missile arcs from down one of the side streets and slams into the, into the uh, side armor of the tank. You see as flames jet out the barrel and the crew hatch, and then the tank's turret pops off like a cork in a bout of flame. Towering, being under the tank, you feel the the heat, but are not actually burned. Not yet, at least. If you stay under there, you're figuring you might soon. Yeah. Probably gonna get out of there then. At least you didn't get squished like a bug. Yep. So, so that happens. could come soon. So that's what happens when you use a tank as armor. <laughs> yeah, I mean... It's decent enough armor uh, until it gets hit, then it's just a gigantic oven, essentially. Um, yeah, you scramble out from under the tank. Uh, where are you going? Um, probably towards... There's a tree, you said, right? Yeah, there's like a single tree. It looks like this area was once a park of some kind, although the grass has long since died from neglect. Um, yeah. If that's the only real other cover, probably try and crawl behind that and start mm -hmm. returning fire. Okay, yeah, give me a uh, an agility ballistic skill to see if you can see anything or shoot anything. Uh, three successes. Uh, pretty good. You fire at one of the uh, silhouettes in the dark, and one muzzle stops flashing. You hit somebody. Ooh. Uh, back to you, Jane. What's up? All right. Uh, time to choose some violence. Uh, let's see. We still have a night lord on our ass, correct? Uh. It went away because its arm got blown off. Yeah, we we got okay. its arm. Okay, okay, that's uh, that's that's comforting. Um, all right, can I see if there is a like a leader of this blood brother pack that's attacking us? So, right now, you're like so the way the blood pack forces are to you right now is they are damn hard to see. It's nighttime. You're in an illuminated area. They're outside in the darkness. And they are dumping fire onto you. So making out like a distinct individual as like a leader would be pretty <clears throat> difficult. Oh, okay. Okay. Hmm. Do we have any items like flares in hopes of illuminating the enemy location? Excellent thinking. Um Yeah, you would know that there were flares in the camp. Uh I don't think any of you had them on you. Or, no, you. I would say you guys probably would have, because you guys went on a night patrol, right? So you would have been yeah. given flares. Oh. So, yep. Yeah, so my turn is using the flares. Yep. Just throwing you... them all out. Boom. 
a white flare fires into the air, casting light over the entire uh, entire area. And now you can see the attackers fully illuminated. There are way more of them than is comfortable. At least an entire company's worth. And they are Jesus. now bearing down on your position. What's the plan, guys? Um, run. Violence. Well, yeah, you can absolutely stand and fight. That is an option. Um, yeah. You can stand and fight. <laughs> you have fun slowing them down. Yeah, you can see now, like, the blood pack... The, 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 uh, your company is now being overwhelmed, having been caught uh, unawares and separated in a few key places. You, the blood pack forces begin pouring into the main square. Some soldiers try to engage them with their bayonets. Uh, it does not go well. They end up falling at the uh, machetes and axes of the Blood Pact. Your Commissar is firing his bolt pistol wildly into the crowd and sees you trying to retreat and goes, You, come with me! And uh, starts to move with you. Uh, okay. Now... <laughs> Okay, good. As in retreat with us? Or? Yes, he's he's telling you to retreat with him. He's not. Okay. Okay. Because normally, I'm, when a commissar sorry, points that. you out for retreating, it means you're about to get shot. Um, yeah, he has decided to. <laughs> That's what I was anticipating. But yeah. he has decided <laughs> that the situation is untenable. You know. Yeah. He's a commissar, not a suicidal idiot. Um. Uh, I don't know. Some commissars are like that. Oh yeah, absolutely. <laughs> they just don't live long. Yeah, they. What I feel, like Gaunt, the I feel like Gaunt is a suicidal idiot who lives long. No, I would say that's. Uh, I, Gaunt's a pretty good, cautious commissar, but yeah. So. Uh, what What is the term for when you like? A tactical. Oh, I. What? No, it's like. Uh, oh, I thought he was Viet Cong, so I shot him. He didn't bragging? say the safe word. Yeah, oh. bragging. Yeah, just. <laughs> yeah, the bad ones end up getting bragged. That's generally what happens to them. But uh, he hasn't so far, so he kind of pulls you as, like, as stubber rounds just eviscerate the tree that you're behind. He kind of grabs you by the shoulder and runs back uh, into the more unilluminated back streets. Um, uh, Calicus, uh, Orb no, Orbe is what you name, yeah, Orbe. Uh, or Orbe is, yes. Yes. Um, you see the commissar retreating with uh, Toring and now a handful of other soldiers who survived the onslaught uh, further down into the streets. What's the plan? Did I ever get my grappling hook that I spoke to you about? Probably not yet. Shit's bad. Okay, okay. So I can't, I can't be cool and grapple hook my way out of this shitty situation. Well, so, there's also uh, nowhere to grapple to. Like... All right, yeah. A lot I guess of shelled gonna, out buildings. I guess I'm gonna cover my retreat by uh, tossing some grenades. Opposite of the way that I'm heading. Yeah, just normal grenades or smokes or what? Uh, I'll do a combination of both. Okay, yeah. So you uh, toss some, uh, some nades out and, it, you know, it sends some of the people scattering, some of the blood-packed forces, uh, making enough room for you to sort of get out of the way and uh, get moving. Yeah, hopefully it uh, cleared enough of void for Calicus as well. Uh, yeah, Calicus, if you me. move now, you probably will be able to... Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm following now. Yep. Um... And with that, you, the com you three, the commissar, and about a half dozen other soldiers disappear down a back alley as the camp is overrun. Eventually, out of breath, you come to a stop. And commissar turns to you and says, "This is very fucking bad." Yeah. You yeah, don't a little bit of a shit show. Not only is our our unit got is I mean I don't know what happened to the rest of them but I mean if that's any sign we're 
this is a major offensive. From what I've heard, uh. there are reports of a large machine, some kind of uh, almost building-sized, in fact, probably bigger, moving through the city. Some kind of pyramid, they say. Micron's what? Uh, not anything like that here. Yeah, and he shows yeah. you a data slate, and it's, um, it does look like a, it's like a sleek black pyramid, um, although hanging off of it is the, is a banner of corn. Oh, fuck. <laughs> um, hold on, wait, didn't we find out what that symbol means? Yes, because, you have. Uh, the, the guy who Calicus pissed off had that. Yes, you know the... Uh, yeah, you've been fighting Cornate cultists, so you would be familiar with them. Okay. Uh, hey, uh, sir, I don't know if my comrades have informed you about this, but there's also a... Uh, uh, Chaos Space Marine running around the battlefield. I, I saw it happen. I was, you know, I was by the tank when it leveled that building. Right. right now, no, that is a secondary that. concern. So, what's our game plan? Are we evacuating? Are we pushing forward with the mission? There's not really anywhere Are to we evacuate going to, die? to. The biggest issue is that if we retreat from the city, then there's about it falls. 10 or so miles of empty open ground that we have to cross to get back to the uh, to the imperial uh, to the imperial uh, cordon. And with that, oh, you know, I we'll love be. That. You know, easy pickings for their artillery or armor. So, <clears throat> we we dropped into the city and got decimated. We came in here and we got decimated. At what point do we bring in reinforcements or just call this whole thing off. I agree with Scrapper. I'm tired of taking L's. When are we going to get some bacon? We were the reinforcements. The White Scars moved into the city. The, then artillery pounded it to dust. I mean, there wasn't supposed to be anything still alive in here. I mean, we're operating on bad intel is what's happening. So where's the spy? Somebody's feeding us bad intel. That's an excellent question. So who who are we getting this intel from? Orders come from That's... above me. They come from the Lord General. So... Well, Lord General needs to... But who are the scouts? Take a pretty good hard look at who he's getting his information from because... So far, it's been wrong. If he's getting bad information from scouts, then he can't make the proper I, I warn you, choices. Trooper, it would be unwise to slander the Lord General in my presence. Now, we have a few options, but only one that actually gives us a chance of victory. That being said, at the cost of near certain death. Well, knowing us, I like those odds. That vehicle is moving this way. At least that's what our auspex yeah, scans would indicate. If we can find a way on board, perhaps we can disable it. That would give the other regiments a fighting chance. How does that sound? How are we going to get on that vehicle? It doesn't look like it has a, uh, a board of entry or anything like that. Well, reports have mentioned that there are firing slits that open up. Um, and, you know, they and they use heavy stubbers through them. There is also a track system on the bottom. That's how it moves. Maybe there's a way there. The point is, we're not certain. But we'll have to find out. So let's do this. Understood. 
Uh, and in the distance, sure enough, you can hear the sound of a massive engine moving something across the battlefield. Uh, Rock Creek just crumbling under its weight. All right, so we need to find somewhere to hide until it is either beyond us and then come up from behind or on top of us and come up from underneath of it. All right, you can leave that scouting up to me. I'm pretty good when it comes to that stuff. Okay, uh, so do you want to, like, scout, try, try, are you trying to find somewhere to hide? Yeah. yeah. Okay, that's good. Um, so what would I roll? That would be a survival check. Or stealth. I'd say, yeah, either survival or stealth. <laughs> Just tell me your results. All right, that is uh, one six. Oh, no, two sixes and two fives. Jesus Christ. Google Dice App Roller, baby! It likes me! So with those numbers, it is very easy to find a bombed-out building that can shelter your uh, sort of haphazard squad. You know, it's not ideal. It wouldn't provide you cover from, like, much heavy artillery, but it'll provide concealment, at least. So, you scramble off there. Uh, did the rest of you go with? Uh, yes. Okay. So, yeah, huddled in this... Uh, in this dark building... You hear this machine growing closer. And as it does, you feel a familiar feeling. Oh, fuck. No, don't tell me it's got space marines in it. The itching of your teeth. Uh, a hum in the air. Fuck. Everyone give me a, uh, a, an, uh, an int awareness check, please. We do not have enough explosives to deal with this. That is uh, one six and two fives. Awareness. Uh, three successes. Okay, that's good. Um, and, oh, where'd Calicus go? Uh, Biobrick. He put it in Discord. Oh, yeah, okay, perfect. Yeah, I got too many windows open right now. Um,. Yeah, sure. With, the, with those successes, you see it. Across the street is a familiar set of glowing eyes. Looking at us? Looking right at you. Son of a bitch. It uh... lets out an enraged shriek from its Vox grill on its helmet. This metal... It's, it almost sounds like a pair of gears grinding together. Uh, more than a human oh, okay. voice. And it uh, rushes. Excuse me, High Command and Commissar, we got bad news. Yeah, he you pointed out to him, he goes, oh shit. Focus fire oh, on that space marine! And then, as he says that, you know, las guns from the whole squad start dumping into it, and it attacks. I believe that oh shit is an understatement in this situation. Again, moving faster than your brain can keep up with, this thing sprints across the road, you know, shrugging off most of the Laz fire. Its armor is still being scored, though. And slams into your line. It kills oh, the first trooper almost nonchalantly, swinging its only arm, holding a chain axe, ripping into him and sending viscera and blood all over the room. Then uh, he turns to you, Scrapper. What do you do? Okay, so he's missing an arm. Mm -hmm. Can Jeffrey, I see... Please don't tell me you're the one who took his arm off. Yeah. 
fuck? A little bit. <laughs> so can I see like that? There's obviously a breach in the armor. Yeah. There. <clears throat> you can I see the stump. That. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, give me. That's gonna be a called shot. So that's gonna be a minus one penalty. But yeah. Okay. Um. Well. Um. I rolled three sixes. God damn. Ooh. Yeah, he comes to you, and in winding back his chain axe, he exposes his stump to you. You pull the trigger, and just, you hear, the, the last gun goes off, the room is illuminated red by its bolt, and it hits home. He lets out a shriek, and stumbles backwards, clutching at the now even more blown away uh, arm stump. You can see a part of his armor breaks off because you hit it from the inside. It's meant to take hits from the out. Um, you can see his rib cage, and even you can see his pair of beating hearts. Oh, fuck yeah! Scrapper, thank you for that exposing of the wizard. Confused do, crew. Do your sniper thing. Jano. <laughs> what do you want to do? Yes. I'm shooting that motherfucker in his heart. Give me a roll. Alright. Now, if I could, could I run up and shove my gun into those hearts? This would be a melee and... attack then, yes. Alright, well, that's really good. No, just guys. like stick it up in there and then pull the trigger. Okay, I'd say yeah. that would be like agility weapon skill. Oh, okay. That, that's because that's, that's... stabbing a knife in there is the same thing as stabbing a gun barrel in there. Three you know? sixes out of five. Jesus fuck. Yep, that that'll do it. Um. Yeah. Even though you're struck by this, just like this transhuman awe at the size and speed of this thing, that spell is broken by Calicus's gunshot. And oh, Jane, you just got boosted. Um. Yeah, so that's going to do it. Um, Appreciation for you, the boost. It, it raises up its axe again, this time to kill uh, to kill Scrapper. But uh, his shot snapped you out of your uh, stupor. And you run up and jam your long lass's barrel into the exposed rib cage, flip the switch to full auto, and just hold down the trigger and eviscerate the thing. The Space Marine... Yeah. I mean, you are sprayed with blood, um, doing this, and... As cool as Orbe would like to think of herself, it she is burns like a motherfucker. Space Marine time. blood is acidic. Um... What? Yes, it is. Like, ah, so oh, is there saliva. Ah. Yeah, you clutch at your face as it burns you, uh, only dealing one wound. Um... Uh, but the Space Marine, sure as shit, falls down... Its rib cage completely blown open. It is dead. Can I take a little trophy from this motherfucker? Might be a little heretical in the commissar's presence, but if you want to like try to do a uh, a, decep a deception or a cunning roll. Yeah, sure. No, fuck you, commissar. I just saved your life. That's two sixes and a five. Yeah, not bad at all. Um, you can pull. A, uh, you can take, like, a chunk of the Ceramite armor or a, uh, or, so, or like, some kind of emblem off of the, uh, helmet. I think I want to take some of the Ceramite armor, because I, I could probably craft that into a breastplate. So it is very heavy. If you were going to take a chunk, it would be, like, that big, maybe? Well, yeah, I mean, Orbe is small. It's yeah. 5'2". So... Yeah, you get the you cram the samurai the it's not samurai <laughs> the samurai element. Um you slam the ceramite uh, into you you quickly grab a piece of the shattered ceramite and slip it into one of your uh Laz pack pouches before the commissar can notice. Uh he is right cool. now in like a state Scrapper will uh yep. provide some distraction yep. because he's gonna climb up on the thing's chest crouch down and get right in his face and be like that's what you get for coming at me <laughs> and 
in that moment... It moves, and he runs very screamingly. Yeah, it, it, like, lets out one last lurch, and then and sits up... It not, doesn't really sit up, it just turns its head towards you and says, Corn cares not from whence the blood flows, only that it flows. And then he dies. Ah. Yeah, Scarf runs. Fuck, man, that's this metal. Screaming. Oh, Jesus Christ! <laughs> So, oh, Emperor, save me. Yeah, pretty much. Um, yeah, Orbe is just, like, dabbing her face off from the fucking acidic blood. Yeah, it's, it's like, it's, like, it's probably gonna scar, but you'll live, you know? And hey, you can say, I got this face wound killing a space marine at point-blank range. You know? Yeah, she's gonna kick his dead body just like, I swear if my face loses millions because of you. Yeah. That was my family's mascot. I was so attractive. So, yeah, uh, you, are you, like, so you kind of run back and stumble out into the street, and now you can see the pyramid as it bears down on you. It is oh. easily seven or eight stories tall, with almost a mirror-polished black surface. Uh, and you can see there are, in fact, firing slits open, um, occasionally shooting at what you suppose are any remnants of uh, guard left over. Hmm. Is there a possibility to, sh like, throw a grenade into one of those firing slits in hopes of making a bigger entrance, or are we just gonna have to climb on that thing and hope to hope to the Emperor? Oh, you could do that. Uh, there's also the possibility that you could, uh, I don't know, find a way in on the uh, underside of it, like a maintenance hatch or something That's along those lines. That's what Scrapper's hoping for. Yeah. All right. Uh, I take top, you take bottom. Okay. Yep. The commissar is still pretty stunned. Like, he's supposed to be the chief morale officer, but you can see, like, the space marine is... His, he's not there. He's, like, shell-shocked. Uh, and because of that, the other soldiers you know, like, are wavering. They're like, what do we do? The commissar is fucking... Scrapper's yeah, Orbe awesome. just cracked her, her knuckles, just like, listen up, you pussies! Yeah. You're gonna whip out now? Are yeah, you, you slap him. Um, the commissar looks fucking shocked for a minute. And then he kind yeah, of pulls himself just... together. Because for a second, he has this look of anger and indignation, but then he realizes, oh yeah, you probably that was probably the right thing to do there. He goes. Yeah. Okay, l l let's do this. And, and if um, he, if he tries to give her any more stats, she's, she's just got the hand like, I'll, and I'll fucking do it again. Yeah. Uh. He makes a point of like getting out in front of you guys because he doesn't <laughs> want to be seen to be like not taking point after he kind of pissed himself uh, with the space marine. And so you charge up towards the machine. You can now see its tracks um, easily 30 feet wide each tread. And it is just churning buildings underneath it as it gets closer. Um, Scrapper, you were looking for an, an entrance, right? Uh, like a yep. utility entrance? Give me a, an awareness roll. Int awareness. Okay. Sorry, my living room just turned into a racetrack. It's all good. That's a good roll. That is a uh, very yeah. good roll. Um, sure enough, you can see that, like above one of the, like one of the sprocket wheels, there is a some kind of maintenance hatch. It, it looks sealed, but you figure with a little bit of a. Uh, of explosives, you could probably blast it wide open. Um, I believe that I still have a cracker grenade. Yep, you have a crack grenade, yep. <clears throat> so, he will attach that and run back. <laughs> I love it. Okay. Hell yeah. Oh yeah, Harry, a question. Yeah? Did that space marine happen to have a uh, a grappling hook on him. Actually, he would have. Yes. Fuck yeah! Belt. I'm taking that. Yeah. 
Oh, so you, you take the See, grappling hook. I have my grappling hook now. I can fulfill my Black Widow role. Now you have a grappling hook, a crack grenade, and a door and an elevated position that you need to open. Okay, yeah, dude. Uh, she's gonna grapple hook onto one of the other turrets when it opens up and launch herself and then drop a frag grenade down onto one of the doors. Okay. Yeah, um, so that's the plan. Uh, you, so to do that, that would be a, I, uh, I would say ballistic skill, agility ballistic skill to try that. Okay. Oh, that's hot. That's hot. What'd you roll? Three sixes and a five. Jesus fuck. I tell you, the Google Dice app roller, it, 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 it knows. So. It knows. <laughs> Tony says, uh, Jane will henceforth be known as Jane Widow. Yes, Jane Widow. <laughs> Jane Wick. Um, yeah. I do One of the really, slots opens like... uh, to fire on you, and you just lob that grappling hook in, and it finds purchase. I either make wholesome characters, or super lethal mm -hmm. characters, or both, in uh, a case of cherry. Scrapper, that'll be an agility athletics if you want to, like, get above the sprocket wheel, because you kind of got to climb onto a what is essentially okay. a moving track. Yep, that's fine. <clears throat> I'm fairly good at that. Okay, yeah, give me that roll. Uh, and is there anything that you want to do, JT, uh, right now? They just killed the Space Marine they wounded previously and are now uh, making an assault on the heretics, uh, seemingly moving, uh, moving headquarters. Is anyone in peril, Rachel? Yes. They are all in deep fucking peril. <laughs> Rachel, don't rub salt in the wound, please. Please. It's um, hard can enough I, to remain calm. Are we, like, advancing or can I kind of set up and do some sniping? You can absolutely do some sniping. It, seem, the, it seems the commissar is intent on leading an assault into the vehicle itself. So, um, yeah, you can see. Got a boost. Yeah, what? Oh, we got a boost. Ooh! So, yeah, with that boost, uh, you will have no problem climbing up the side of the thing. Uh, even though it's pretty smooth. That's uh, for you're... Jane. That boost is for Jane. Yeah, I know, yeah. That's, uh, oh. you know, Jane, you will have no problem climbing up the side of the vehicle. Uh, even though it's pretty smooth, um, it, you're more than capable of doing it. And one of the firing hatches, like you go past... And like one of them tries to angle it, their stubber to hit you, but you're again you're at like a weird w angle, so they can't they can't twist the stubber back around and up. Bluebell's My getting dog censored. says thank you. Um, Doggy says thank you. Good. <laughs> and so and you <laughs> lob a censored. grenade in there, and you know that you see the stubber get dropped. It kind of falls out down the side. You hear some panicked noises and then. Boom! It blows a hole in the side of the, in the side of the pyramid. Yeah, she's gonna yell down to Calicus. Hey, Cal! I made you an entrance. So, Calicus, uh, what did you, you rolled for your athletics? You rolled pretty well. So you've already also made an entrance. Uh, the track was moving slow enough that you were kind of able to use the treads as a bit of a ladder, a moving ladder. And if you slipped, you probably would have been smushed. But you know, you didn't. Um, and were able to blow the maintenance hatch above the tracks. We've got another one here, he'll yell. I'm confused because I have not rolled. Yes, uh, what do you want to do? No, that, was, that was me. Scrapper did that. He said Cal. Oh, oh, sorry, I okay. said Calicus, not, sorry, Scrapper, not Calicus. <clears throat> yeah, okay. Um, yeah, I, I mostly want to, uh, to, um, sort of like be Overwatch for this right now. Up high. Give me an agility um, ballistic skill roll. <laughs> I have success. Um, Bluebell just got a boost as well. Oh, yay! Bluebell, you hear that? You got a boost. Hell yeah. Because he's probably asking me, why aren't you giving me more of your dinner? So, Calicus is whenever a blood pack trooper po pokes their head out to shoot one of your. Uh, squad mates or, uh, you know, or Calicus trying to plant the uh, charge on the door or 
not Calicus, Scrapper trying to plant the dark charge on the door, or Orbe trying to climb up. You just, uh, you know, you, you just line them up and put them down. Just one after the other as Blood Pack soldiers poke their heads out to try to stop the, uh, the enemy infantry from getting too close to their vehicle. You keep their heads down, to say the least. It seems, uh, Orbe, that most of the soldiers are opting for, uh, for Scrapper's entrance, uh, just because it's easier to access. But if you want to continue <laughs> down yours, you can and sort of make a pincer. Yeah, that, that's, uh, she'll lug like a, hmm. Should I go flash bomb and then grenade? Or should I go grenade, then flash bomb? I think I'll go, uh... Just flash, flash banging bomb. someone would work fine if you go in there with your gun. Yeah, that's true. So, uh, flash bang! Yep. Uh, you toss a bang in there. Bright white light, loud noise, you swing in, give me a ballistic skill roll. Alrighty, that excites me real good. That is, uh... Two fours and two fives. Very good. Four successes. Um, yeah, you can see that a pair of blood pack troopers had moved to respond to where that explosion was, but now they're clutching their eyes and staggering around, and so you just put them both down. Bam, bam. One, two. Calicus, your uh, squad mates have I... now made their entrance into the vehicle. What's the plan? I guess I should scramble down to get in the vehicle now. Okay, yeah. Uh, give me an agility athletics. Quick question while he's rolling. Um, the grappling hook, the grappler that uh, Orbe used to get in, does that leave like a rope hanging behind it? Yes. Where others could follow? Okay, so Scrapper's going up there then. Okay. <clears throat> Yes. So he got the rest of them in. Now he's following his squad leader. Yep. Um, <clears throat> nice to see you joining the party, Scrapper. I mean, I Game started the party. Yeah, it's just left. Um, I rolled, I got three or four successes, but I also got a complication. Okay. Um, complication is a physical mishap. You're clumsy or tongue tied to do something you didn't need to cause any violence. Oh, no. Okay. So. Uh, which entrance are you trying to? Are you trying to climb up the rope or trying to go <coughs> up the track? Up the track. Okay. As you, uh, you you put your foot you put your foot on the track and your foot hits an area with where, where like there's mud stuck on it, and you slip. And now, the tank is bearing down on. Well, the track is bearing down on you. Again, easily thirty feet wide. It's going to be difficult to go to the side of it. Um, but if you don't move, you'll be crushed. What's the plan? I don't know what take a hole real fast. I don't know. <laughs> oh, I don't know. You can try to scramble uh, backwards or pull yourself out of the way or pull yourself up. Uh, can you can you give me a little more visual? On what, yeah. What, what this so like? this vehicle is about is fucking enormous. It's maybe eight stories tall. It is like a smooth black pyramid uh, with a blood packed banner draped across the front of it. It has these big treads that it's using to just crush its way through the city. And so to get to the maintenance hatch, you had to climb up them. And so you climbing up the tread slipped, and so now the vehicle is bearing down on you. Gotcha. Okay. Um, can I attempt some legalist shit and, like, crawl up the track as it moves? Sort of like going against an elevator? Sort of Absolutely, yeah. Give me another athletics test. For success. Very good. No complications. Um, oh. As the thing bears down on you, um, you get like a hit of adrenaline and just pull yourself up. Um, pull yourself up and at just desperately clawing as the track tries to move you under it, you're able to scamper up and into the maintenance hatch. Inside, uh, both of you, you all see... I mean, you don't obviously see... the the same place, but it looks roughly the same. 
Um, most of the... It, it's pretty industrial inside. It looks like the inside of a starship, only a lot more cramped. Uh, oh, okay. Thank you, Tony Carlstrom. Good night. Um, it's, it's cramped. There are uh, emergency lights flashing, uh, bathing the entire metal interior in this uh, red wash. So far, you don't see any hostile contacts. This isn't comforting. Scrapper's gonna quickly swap out his uh, his Laz rifle for his Laz pistol. Mm -hmm. Since it's more confined spaces in here. Yep. And are you moving forward? And <clears throat> it's up or down, boss? Uh, typically the uh, ship's machinery, you know, like the head wing and stuff like that. That's at the top, isn't it? Controls probably at the top. Engine rooms are probably down here, though. Yeah, but I think he's in control. Uh... Well, also your squad is down below, just... Yeah, uh... Orbe's gonna vox to the commissar. Uh, could you take care of the engine room? We're gonna go head for a mission control. There's only two of you. If there are more Chaos Space Marines up there, you'll just be killing yourselves. Ah, uh, you underestimate us too much, boss. Ret rendezvous with the squad. That's an order. Yeah, Orbe's gonna click off the vox. He said, yeah, we can go ahead. Scrapper can probably hear that, too. Yeah, you all have boxes. I mean, they're in our helmets. Yeah. <laughs> that is not what he said at all. He said Space Marines. It took all of us to take that last one now. We should meet up with them. Yep. Calicus right. and the rest of the squad, you hear now the sound of boots against uh, metalwork coming down the hallway. What is the plan? Um, it's time for a hallway fight, it sounds like. Um, okay. I okay. mean, yeah, so let's, uh, I'm going to uh, sort of like direct people to take sort of as much cover as they can sort of on the sideways and wait for uh, any ambush covers from it down the hall. Yeah, absolutely. Give me a stealth roll. Or a leadership. Leadership is better. Because you're kind of leading. No, me. no, it's not better. <laughs> okay. Well, you can make a stealth uh, roll, you yeah. know, because that's the same skill. Well, well it's a different skill, <laughs> same context, I mean. Uh, no, we're no, it's not. We're no, it's hard. <laughs> Oof. Um, three successes with a uh, complication, harsh environment. Okay, yeah. Um, Jeez, JT, those those complications are just loving you. I, I'm guessing that I've rolled a lot more complications before I was using Foundry, which yeah, tells probably. you that you've rolled a complication. Yeah, I think ones are just complicated. Well, wait, let me see something. Let me see the page. Okay, so... It looks like you roll whatever, and one of those dice is a special die. And then when it gets... Oh, yeah, your wrath that... die. Yep. You need to be rolling a wrath die, too. Um, th th that's my bad. I haven't been keeping track of that. Um, this is so, more fun, though, so whatever. Yeah, it's, uh, so you kind of duck to the side and prepare for the ambush. The blood pack forces come around the corner already shooting, and as you open up, some of their rounds hit a steam pipe near you, and, you know, all of a sudden you are blinded by boiling gas. Not permanently, obviously, but what's the plan? Is this just me, or is, like, the whole squad got blinded? Uh, now, us? like, everybody in the entire hallway, basically. Um. <clears throat> Can I stealth run with my knife and just, like, lead a charge into these guys who apparently can't see us anymore right now? Either? Yeah, either stealth or leadership, because you have gotten smoke cover. Give us another shot. Uh, 
Uh, <laughs> one success in another complication, another harsh environment. Okay, let's see. Lost item. Um, oh. well, drop your gun. <laughs> actually, that would that would kind of make sense, right? Oh, dear sweet Jesus! Now I just put that. So you now. draw your bayonet, which is not a small knife. You know, it's a proper six-inch blade, and and say, you know, like, come on, you want to live forever, and you charge your men down the hallway. They draw their bayonets as well. As you do this, the strap of your las gun catches on an extruding pipe, and it pulls it off of you back into the steam. Um, but at this point, you know, your momentum's already carrying you forward, and you slam into the blood-packed lines. Give me a, uh, strength, uh, melee, uh, give me a strength weapon skill. Oh, I was muted. One success. One success. Um, you pick the first blood pack trooper you can see. He has this snarling steel face. Um, well, steel mask over his face. And it, he turns to you as you come charging out of the steam. You slam into him and try to bring your knife down on his neck. But he brings his arm up and goes for his own knife. So let's see how he rolls. Okay, that is three successes. Uh, I don't believe that beats your uh, resilience or whatever that skill is. Um, no, it's resilience is seven. Or Wait, your defense. Your defense is sorry, yeah, it doesn't beat your defense. So, yeah, he jams the knife into your uh, what where your where your chest would be, but you are wearing your flak armor, and so it takes the knife like a champ um, and deflects it. Um, back up to, uh, to Orbe and Scrapper, you're finding surprisingly little resistance in the dark halls of the, uh, of the pyramid. Klaxon's I think it might glare. be better to go by the vents. Vents? Give me yeah, an, uh, give me an awareness roll to see if you can spot any vents. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Um, I get a wrath critical? Oh, that's very good. Four sixes. One point of glory out of the pool. Four sixes. There is a vent. It is not big enough to fit in. Damn it. That is a very good roll, though. Um, Scrapper, did... though, with your roll, it's pretty good. Um, you actually see that there is a there's an elevator of some kind that that looks it almost looks like a one of those like uh, like laundry elevators, you know, or like, like a dumb waiter. Yeah, like a dumb waiter. That one uh, it looks big enough to fit one person at a time, maybe. Sure, he'll climb in. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. We can pop uh, up behind somebody and take them by surprise. Yeah. Uh, going up. up. Uh, down. Going down. Yeah, you. It, it can only fit you. It can only fit one person at a time. So you kind of hop in, yeah. press the button, and the the door opens, and you are now face to face with a blood pack soldier. He has his arms out like he was expecting to like grab ammo or something. <laughs> and you can see that his and you can see his teammate on like a big anti tank gun being like, Come on, load the damn thing And he's just uh, staring at you like oh, uh. I've got my pistol, so yeah, just yeah, give me a ballistic <laughs> skill roll to, to blast that. his ass. The bell's rooting. Yeah, that's a uh... fucking headshot. Just Oh god. For a uh, yeah. yeah, he just he like looks at you for a sec, can't, doesn't even get to open his mouth, just BAM! Right in the face. He goes with, flat with on his back. Roll, can I get both of them? Um. I got surprise. Well, and... yeah, you'll have surprise. The other guy turns and goes, what? And you can take another shot. Is that another one? Yep. Oh. That's three in a roll. 
yeah. last criticals. He reaches for his own weapon, and before he can, again, just right between the eyes. And he slumps over his gun. I mean, the big gun, the anti tank gun. <laughs> so Orbe probably hears, zzz, and then zap, zap! Yeah, just uh... bam, bam! <laughs> Uh, she's gonna yell, she's gonna yell down, Scrapper, are you alive down there? Yeah, and I got a big gun now. <laughs> right, send, me a send the lift back up to me. Alright, we'll send the lift back up. Yeah, you up. send it up. Uh, Orbe, you can cl climb back in. Yeah, Orbe just climbs on it. Yeah, now you can see fully that this is a, this is a fucking Laz cannon on a uh, tripod. Not a small weapon, um, but a very good tank killer. If you, you could both disassemble it and carry, you know, one of you carries the gun, one of you carries the tripod. This would probably be pretty good against a uh, space marine. Yeah. Heck, this is probably just a weapon that they use on the regular. Correct, actually. Havocs carry uh, las cannons or plasma cannons or heavy bolters, yeah. Um, so back to, uh, back to Calicus, currently engaged in a brutal knife fight. Um, your other squad mates are now in vicious hand-to-hand -hand combat, and you are wrestling on the ground with this blood-packed soldier. Uh, make a, uh, weapon skill melee to, uh, yeah, weapon, sk weapon skill is always melee. A weapon skill plus strength. Or agility. Um, can I use uh, glory dice on this? Or you may. Or yes, you absolutely may. You got a bunch. Do I roll? Do I add glory before or after the roll? Uh, I believe you can add it before. Yeah. Um. Okay, I'll use two. Yep. Go for it. I'll just take those. Two successes. Okay, two successes. Not bad. Um. So he will contest. In melee. <laughs> oh, I can't. Oh wait, I, I gotta show you this fucking dice result. Wait, 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 wait. You might notice that there are four ones. Yeah. Um. He, you kind of roll back on top of him. Get your knife. He tries to reach with his own. Uh, he tries to reach for his las pistol, but in doing that kind of dislodges your arm above him, and so you fall, and it just drives the knife straight into his chest. He spits out a mouthful of blood and dies. Yep. Yeah, give me a corruption test. That that spray of blood was awfully satisfying. Awfully satisfying compilation Warhammer 40k universe. How do I make a corruption test? Here, let me see. Corruption. Uh, I saw it. It's a resist corruption test. There should just be a button for it, but if not, that's okay. Um, I see the... It's oh, willpower, it isn't it? Yeah, it's willpower. Resolve or conviction? Yeah. Uh, resolve plus... Uh, or, yeah, wait, I believe it's... Conviction plus willpower, whoever that is. Oh, if I click on oh, if I click on conviction, then it's uh, either corruption or mutation. Oh, so it would be corruption then. Yeah, click conviction. Yeah, okay, there we go. Um, oh, yeah. Okay. Um, one success, oh. here, gain two corruption, to one rune added. It looks like it added the rune automatically. Oh yeah, it did. Uh, it added the rune automatically and gained two corruption. There is something very, very pleasing about driving a knife into this guy. If you want to do it again. Now, your squad mates are still engaged in mortal combat uh, with a blood pact. A few of them have lost and are now lying dead. A few have won. Uh, about an equal number of blood pact are, and uh, guard are now dead around you. What's the plan? I don't have a I don't have a ranged weapon anymore, so um, I just have a knife. So I'm that guy's got a bolt. I uh, got a uh, las pistol. I'll take the las pistol. Yeah, that's what he was reaching for when you got him. Gotcha. Yeah. So yeah. I'll take the las pistol and I'll just sort of kind of you know do that. 
you know, like one hand last pistol. And, yeah, give and me sort a of... ballistic skill roll to finish the. Yeah. Eight successes. <laughs> 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 yeah. Um. Once you get the last pistol, it's not even a fight. Just you basically execute every single remaining. Um, blood pack soldier that is engaged in combat, in melee combat with your guys. Uh, the commissar kind of dusts himself off, wipes the blood off of his power sword. Says, good work. Uh, emperor protects. Yeah, the emperor does protect. Onward? And he kind of charges further down the hallway. And, uh, sort of like the last bit of blood off my You lick off it off. Lips. Oh boy. <laughs> That's it. pretty okay. fucking cornate. Give me another corruption text. Okay. Uh... <laughs> Two, um, game one corruption and one ruin was also. Excited. Okay, wow. You're piling it on right now. Um. So, back to uh, Scrapper and uh, Orbe. So have you taken the last cannon? <laughs> uh, yes. This thing's too damn big to be hauling around inside here. We can come well, back for it. He's got a point. Like, if you try to turn it sideways, it won't fit. Fine. Come back later for the cool god. We'll come back for it later, I promise. <laughs> so, yeah, for now... Is there another way out of this little room? Yeah, there is a uh, there's a hallway leading down. Okay. Uh, further so, uh, pistol up, move in silently. Give me a stealth roll. Agility stealth. Tab second here. Stealth. This is not an urban environment, so I don't get my extra die. Uh, six successes. Yeah, good enough. Um, Calicus, uh, you and the rest of your squad hear nothing and round the corner on, <laughs> on, uh, on Scrapper and Orbe. There is a brief moment of panic as you all nearly shoot each other. Um, but then, you know, you kind of, huh, okay. So, uh, oh, thank goodness for trigger discipline. What's, uh, the commissar kind of looks around and he's like, did you find anything? What's the plan? Or they will point to the there. giant gun. The las cannon? Hmm. That wouldn't be out of place. But it is a bit big to carry. I figure we grab it on the way out. Good call. Let's keep moving. And the uh, commissar kind of leads you to a bulkhead, uh, which goes off at a 90-degree angle from the hallway you just went down. And uh, it's like, he tries to open it, and it's locked. If you came from that way, then this is the only way forward. Any idea how to get in? Uh, there's a little dumbwaiter back there. We could go up and over. Good call. We'll have to go up one the problem time. with that is only one person can go in at a time. Yeah, and if they've responded to where you entered, then it'll be a massacre. So we send a frag grenade up first. <laughs> I like your thinking. Wouldn't that destroy the elevator? I, I... A chance you're willing to take? Um, so what, all right, so Scrapper wants to make a, basically make a, uh, a trap so that there'll be something in the dumbwaiter that holds the grenade at the doors. Mm -hmm. And when it gets up there, the doors open the grenade falls out onto the deck. Okay, yeah, so like, you, you okay, that that's smart. Um, 
Yeah, if you like take a, uh, I mean that that wouldn't be super hard to uh, engineer. Let's take a look There's at the character. Helmets shoot. and helmets and stuff here that he could probably use and. Yeah, give me like a give me a tech uh, plus int roll to throw something together. Okay. Oh, oh shit! Wrath complication. Something <laughs> unexpected happens. Here's the payback for all those uh, criticals. Okay. Past problems. Something from your past comes back to haunt you. An old wound flares up in pain, or you're distracted by a memory. That's a. Hmm. So you're gonna successfully get the grenade in there. Um. But something about this brings you to a uh, brings you this back is, to the hive, making a well, what, what were you gonna this say? This is. I was gonna say that this is the reason that this came to him so quickly is because this is what uh, almost killed him but instead killed Ray Alexa's character. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Wait, um, Ray Alexa's character's dead? Well, she- She died she of- She was. Yeah, she and was, then got, then brought, got back. brought back. Cause <clears throat> medical stuff, hooray. Yeah, she got oh, killed, okay. because it was, but it was supposed to be me. Ah. Oh. Mm -hmm. So a flashback yeah. to that as I'm doing it. Yeah, and uh, you kind of fumble the grenade as it, as the dumbwaiter closes. Uh, I would say it explodes about halfway up the tube, sending shrapnel at both ends. Um, take a wound as you are peppered uh, with the with a bit of uh, redirected grenade shrapnel. Not too much, but just a little bit. Yeah. Yep. Um, yeah, and the, the destroyed dumbwaiter falls back down to the bottom. Ah, uh, fuck. They, uh, they must have heard it and shot it or something. Hi, Bluebell. What a dog. Hmm. So, uh, how are we going to get up there now? Looks like the bulkhead. Uh, At least that's what the commissar says. We got somebody to cut through it. Hmm. My power sword's low on power. I don't think it'll be able to get us through the entire bulkhead. What if we give you one of our LAS packs to charge it? Uh, it it's worth a sh I mean, a LAS pack isn't compatible with a power sword. Different tech. I mean, well, you can, maybe if you brought that LAS can... cannon down? That'll go through anything. Alright. Can I overcharge it? The LAS cannon? Yeah. Um... I don't believe that's how las cannons work. You can overcharge plasma, which I believe you guys, you took a plasma gun. Dang it, we should have taken the chainsaw axe that the space marine had. Yeah, but so the las cannon, I'll tell you now, is gonna go through that bulkhead. Like, All right. that thing cuts okay. open tanks. Okay, that's true. All right. Yeah, so you kind of, you, you, you wheel the las cannon around, sort of kind of maneuver it through the hallway, set it up, and open fire. And the entire, the, the air itself becomes metallic and tangy uh, as just this blinding beam of light sears through the bulkhead, blasting it open. Uh, the smoke clears, and you can see that, sure enough, there are several very surprised uh, Blood Pack troopers who appear to be doing, or, well, not really Blood Pack, they're Dark Mechanicus, doing some kind of engine maintenance. Open fire. Yep. Okay, uh, give me a... Uh, all of you, 
that are here, all of you give me ballistic skill rolls to open fire. Scrapper and Calicus, both excellent rolls. That's, uh, uh, a six and two fours. Warp interference? What the fuck? <laughs> what? Calicus got warp inter- or Scrapper got warp interference on his shooting test. Um, okay, here's what's gonna happen. So you all- <laughs> on, um, you all I don't know if you pierce the- oh no, I guess we're not in- you're in the yeah. engine room. Uh, <laughs> I hit I hit something that shouldn't have been shot. Yeah, uh, so you guys just dump Lazfire onto the tech priest, uh, and they go down. You know, just a pile of spark and scrap metal just blasted everywhere. Uh, but, ca uh, but Scrapper, one of your Laz rounds goes wide, and it hits some kind of generator, it looks like, which then starts to smoke and then shake... And then it explodes in this purple fire, and out of it come... They look almost like chimpanzees if they didn't have a head. Uh, and, inst and if they didn't have a head, had two extra arms, and their eyes and mouth were on their torso. Also, if they didn't have any hair. Um, they These come... These flamers? These are pink horrors. Or pink horror, yeah. Yeah. Horrors. They tumble out of this exploded generator... Kind of uh, look up, look at you, uh, choo, 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 and let out a shriek and charge. I'm gonna roll for them. Okay. So one of them uh, makes it to you and just rips one of the uh, one of the guardsmen that you picked up. Just rips his head off his shoulders uh, with its uh, using two of its hands to anchor itself and two to tear. Uh, the other one, you guys act you guys get rounds into, and it goes down. Its skin shifts from pink to blue, and then it splits into two, hops up, and starts running at you again. <laughs> this guy just keeps shooting. Yep, give me a uh, ballistic skill rolls to get these things. Very good. Um, okay. Um, is that? Yeah, okay. Um, I don't know if that succeeded, Cal. Uh, Cal the, it just did like a... What the fuck? Okay. A five? For the... No, the first one, the, the oh. last pistol test, I rolled, I clicked on the last pistol test, I was just doing a pistol test. Oh, okay. Test. So I got some yeah. successes. So the uh, the pink horror that uh, you know that just killed one of your squad mates gets lit up, splits into blues, and then you light up those blue horrors. And the two blue horrors that just you know came from the pink one after getting destroyed almost look like they burn up and fall to pieces, but then those little pieces get up, each about the size of a baseball, and start spitting fire at you what the fuck <laughs> welcome to warpcraft people um the fire misses badly uh very badly in fact um and the other troopers begin to stomp on the little brimstone horrors still the two remaining blue horrors are gonna make their uh, attacks at you guys okay that's <laughs> jesus christ they all rolled terribly um yeah, the blue horrors, they're not the scariest of of demons. And so, they all charge you, and even though they try to grab onto you, you just kind of kick them to the side, and they whack against the wall and separate into their little brimstone horrors, at which point, you know, then you just kind of stomp them out like a, like a campfire. What the hell was that? <laughs> the commissar looks <laughs> shaky, and he's like, those were demons. What the fuck is a demon? That can happen. Would we, would we, yeah, would we, Those we are know. real. You right? would be familiar with warps. Well, you'd be familiar with the idea of them. Like you would know. Like 
They are canonically in your religion. Were just urban legends. Yeah, they were canonically. <laughs> they're like canonically real within your within the imperial religion, but like whether or not you actually believed in them or just thought they were like a metaphor or something. Yeah, I was saying, up to you. Wasn't that just like a parable or whatever? <laughs> no, they're they're very just literal like a very literal demons. Can we just blow this place up and get the hell out of here? I didn't sign up for the yeah, let's just... I did not sign up for this shit. Okay, yeah, let's get this place fucking loaded. Um, yeah, one of the, uh, some of the, the troopers each start taking out their grenades. One of them has, like, a satchel charge. Uh, give me a tech roll scrapper to lace this place with explosives. Because you'd kind of know how to, like, where to put the bombs to make it. Um, does does eleven successes work? <laughs> yeah, eleven successes will fucking do it. Um, yeah, this you know you haven't seen a machine like this before, but you're not dumb and you're not bad at uh, at structural engineering. So you figure out just the places to put the charges to make this thing go kaboom in a very satisfying way. Um. And before we continue any further, let's take a little 10-minute break. Uh, and when we come back, we can, uh, well, we can see continue what happens suffering. when we blow up the pyramid. Continue the suffering. <laughs> yep. I think my interpretation is more accurate. Okay. <laughs> so far, yes.
Hello! Welcome back, everybody, to our uh, wonderful, if you can use that term for anything in Warhammer, uh, 40k game going on here. Uh, where we last left off, the crew was setting up charges um, to blow the uh, chaos vehicle sky fucking high. So, uh, oh yeah, you rolled 11 successes, so... Uh, you definitely succeeded that. Um, so, anyways. Um, once you've set all the charges, the Commissar kind of takes account. You're now down to uh, just seven of you. The Commissar, you three, and then three others. And looks around and says, well, uh, let's, let's clear out. Let's go. And... So, yeah, what's our exit strategy looking like? Well, uh... Out this thing all the yeah, he goes through the door and catches a las bolt to the face. Ow! Oh. You can hear yelling and snarling in a language that you don't understand coming from ah. the hallway that he that you just came from and that he tried to go down. Ah... Uh. All in favor uh, of throwing a grenade down the hallway, say aye. Anybody else have a frag grenade? <laughs> yeah, I've got some grenades. So y'all are just chucking frags down there? <laughs> yeah! All right, yeah, I'm not gonna make you roll for throwing a grenade down a hallway, that's pretty easy. Um, so you toss nades down the hallway, you hear them detonate, and then the sound of metal on metal as grenades start to get thrown into the doorway uh, that you threw the grenades out of. Uh, duck and cover! Is duck there and cover! Is there a door that we can close? You blasted through the bulkhead with a LAS cannon. Oh, that's right. So unfortunately, no. Yeah, uh, get behind something metal uh, and preferably large. All right, um, agility athletics to dive for cover before these things go off. Yeah, that, that's, uh... Three fives, a four, and a six. Uh, four successes. Four successes. That is, uh, that's good. Um... Got seven successes, and we got an additional point of glory, which was added. Beautiful. Okay, yeah. Um, yeah, you all have no problem. You're in this engine compartment. You know, there's plenty of shit to hide behind. So you just duck behind uh, whatever heavy piece of metal you find, and then, uh, you know, oh, you duck behind it. You uh, wait for the grenades to explode. They do. And then you hear the sound of boot falls on metal. And screaming of blood for the blood god as oh, blood packed Jesus. soldiers rush into the engine room, chain swords whirring. The first one comes to you, uh, Orbe, and takes a swing at you. All right. Four successes will beat your defense. Um, yeah, I'm getting stabbed. You can either parry, which will be a uh, agility weapon skill, uh, yeah, but sure. incur a risk of destroying your weapon if you uh, get a fumble, and or you could just or you can dodge. I'll go for a dodge. That would be uh, just uh, agility is, athletics. That is uh, a six, two fives, and a four. Jesus, yeah. Um, three plus your defense. Yeah. Um. You get grazed by the whirring chain blade, just as uh, just as you duck out of the way, taking a single wound, uh, avoiding the main thrust of it. You can make a melee attack back now if you'd like. Alrighty. Let's see how this guy likes getting stabbed. Two sixes and two fours. Okay, that is six successes. That is enough. Uh, you plunge your knife home. Uh, and sort of Get force him to the ground and stab him more, uh, and he is dead. 
Now, uh... Now oh, that on was a to, lot of effort. Uh, on to Calicus. What are you doing now that, uh, the room is being rushed by, uh, hostile forces? Opportunity for violence. Oh, I feel like Calicus is going down a dark path and wants to do violence. Okay, uh, describe this violence to me. He's gonna wait for the moment for these, like, fire grenades to go off and then immediately rush back towards the enemies, kind of, like, low until the ground started doing that, like, low run. Yeah. Uh, last pistol and knife in one hand and try to make, like, an action movie scene out of it. Yeah, go for it. Uh, it can be a melee weapon attack. I'm gonna spend a point. Yep. Mm -hmm. Pretty good, pretty damn good roll. Um, you meet their charge head on. Very, very ballsy move, but a successful one. And you catch one of the first soldiers through the breach, uh, like right under his armor with your knife, and you twist and pull to the side, and his intestines just slop to the ground, and he collapses before you. Uh, Ew. Uh, uh, Scrapper. What's going on with you? How you doing? How you holding up uh, in this uh, chaotic environment? Scrapper is looking for a way out of this chaotic environment. Okay. For uh, give me a... Hopefully, everybody, but failing that himself. Give me an int awareness. And... So you can spend glory to get what? To get extra die. All right, I'm going to spend a glory. I don't know how to do that. Uh, just here, I can do it. Uh, just I'll do them. Uh, when you roll, just add one die to the thing, and I'll remove the glory. Okay. If it'll let me. There we go. Uh, yeah, there is a... There is actually a way out. It's not, uh, the closest, but it'll have to do. Um, across the engine room, there is another bulkhead that leads further into the ship. Hmm. Not ideal, but he will into the Vox, um say it's wh where it is and that he's going to go secure it. And he's going to move that way to uh, basically make sure that it will open. Okay, that's going to be an uh, athletics plus agility to move across the uh, open ground like that. Athletics plus agility. Uh, Two dice to this? No. Seven successes. Very nice. Um, yeah, you managed to avoid any fire coming from the breach and make your way to the bulkhead. And sure enough, with a, uh, with a, just a wrenching pull, you are able to open it. And he'll cue the mic and say, door open. All right, the door's open. Um, uh, back to Orbe. Uh, you've just killed one of the Blood Pack Troopers. There are more coming, but um, right now the momentum seems to have been slowed by Calicus's Valiant Charge. What is the plan? Orbe, Jane. Uh. It's your turn. All right. Yeah. Uh, time. Time for time for more violence, I guess. Okay. Yeah. Uh, melee or gun? Gun. Okay. Give me that roll to shoot. All right. That's uh, that's two sixes, two fours, and a five. Yeah. Um. 
you fire your las gun uh, into some of it. You so one soldier is the commissar is engaged in hand to hand in like a sword I thought fight. The commissar got shot. Oh yeah, you're right. The face. commissar got killed. Sorry. The one of the other soldiers now using the uh, commissar's the dead commissar's power sword is like in a sword fight with a blood pack trooper, uh, and he gets the sword parried out of his hand. And just as the blood pack trooper is about to bring his chainsword down, you catch him square in the chest with a las bolt, and he slumps. Calicus, are you continuing your onslaught? Yes. All right. I'm gonna lick my blade enough after taking out so I can do another corruption test because I'm on a mission. Okay, yeah. Uh, give me that roll and uh, give me a corruption test. Uh, my corruption test. Gate. Is... Oh, fuck. Oof. Ah. Uh. Uh, I need to make two mutation tests because I believe I've now that just took me up two levels of. Corruption. Yes, make two mutation tests. Oh no, I'm at ten, so only one yet. Then make one mutation test. That is still. Uh oh. <laughs> I think uh oh is an understatement here. So you do not mutate. It says double. Wait. I don't. Uh, you don't mutate, but you double your corruption points. So then I need to probably go up to. Yes, and you need to make oh. another corruption test. Well, oh, that, if, by doubling good. my corruption, I'll have to 20 corruption, which means I do need to roll another mutation. Yep, make another mutation <laughs> roll, then. Oh my goodness. And then, did I double again? What the... I'm about to turn into a chaos spawn. Uh, Are yeah, you're about going... to turn into a chaos spawn. Yep, do it again. Let's see those rolls. Are we going? Are I don't even know in... if I'm interpreting the rules correctly, but at this point, I don't care because this is yeah, very I mean, compelling. This fucking rules. Okay. Just explodes into chaos, monster. Okay, there you go. Now let's get a mutation. Um, let's see the number of mutations. Okay, you get you get amorphous, bestial hide, and visions. <laughs> well, fuck. So, the uh, stemming from the piece of uh, oh, I'm I'm sorry, we're we're at forty. Uh, I did turn into a chaos spawn actually. Oh my god! Oh my god! Calicus, in a blood fueled frenzy, just you start mulching these fucking blood pack soldiers, and as you do it, you feel the fury of corn powering you, and you yell blood for the blood god, your fellow. Imperial Guard turn to you in shock and horror, leveling their las guns at you as you're as you feel a searing pain as your skin erupts in boils. You lose all shape, your arms turn to tentacles, and you become just this amorphous flailing thing. Gone is Calicus. Now instead there is a chaos spawn in the fucking room. The rest oh, of you, Jesus. how do you react? And Calicus, I will have you play as this chaos spawn so you can make attacks and shit uh, when it's your yes. turn. Right. Uh, it's it's on site, I guess. <laughs> that's, that's, uh... Yeah, other than just screaming, uh... That's an appropriate just, reaction here. Just screaming, what in the name of the Emperor just happened? That was really fucking crazy. Holy shit. Yeah, give me your bullet. Give me your, uh, or wait, uh, yeah, Orbe, wait, Orbe Scrapper, it's your turn. Sorry, not Orbe's. Uh, to. Or Orbe's looking at Scrapper. I think that's an understatement. Oh, 
<laughs> oh god. He steps through the door and closes it behind him. <laughs> Oh yeah, that's uh... uh... Yeah, other than just swearing at Scrapper, uh, I, I, I guess... I'm assuming the door doesn't like lock or latch from the other side. No, no, he, he would just kind of close it and then run. <laughs> he just wants to put something between him and it, but he's not going to like lock them in there with it. Four sixes and a five. Oh, four sixes and two fives. <laughs> Uh, let me see, what is the damage? Uh, my life. Got one in Foundry. I, uh, made a copy of one so we can mess with it. Mess with it. Uh, Harry, I can't figure out where it says that. I don't know, and the font is too tiny for me to read. That's what? Um, um, I'm going to attack the person that just shot me. Oh, dear, sweet Jesus. <laughs> oh, dear, sweet Jesus. Um, I feel like yes. I would use Razor Claw. Okay, um... And something unexpected happened. So I did 16 damage at AP negative four, and I'm out of ammo. So apparently, something my razor claw like got stuck in Orbe, and then. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, it says roll again if weapon does not use ammo. Oh. He's so he's it's he shut the door. And he's probably just standing there with his head on it, going, God damn it. Here's that. Say, Shit. Swings it open. And yes, he does have a plasma gun. So he will fire that at the chaos thing. Um it seems to be stuck. Actually, no, that's not what he would do. <sighs> Can he... He knows that you can set these things up to blow. Okay.
Uh, um, can I also say as soon as you, well, uh, actually, we'll pass that. Y'all. Yeah. No, he uh, won't. He won't overcharge it. He won't supercharge it. He'll just swing the door open, and he will fire at the thing standing over Orbe. Please don't hit me. <laughs> uh, six Eight. successes and four successes. Please don't tell me this is acid. And then he will go in and grab Orbe and drag her out. Yeah. All right. What was the other option? You should be that guy. Yeah. I don't blame him. Well, uh, what weapons does he have? Sorry. Yes, we were braver than those guys. Uh, unfortunately, our medic is uh, AWOL today. Uh, I can try <laughs> medic I will spend a glory on it. Uh, okay. Uh, apparently. Oh dear. Is this good? Is this good? Oh, thank Six goodness. successes. <clears throat> yeah. On five dice. Yeah, you just hear Orbe being like, ah, and you are done that. All right, we need to get out of here. So, yes, that are primed to go off in minutes. 
Uh-oh. Well, oh, no, well, we can hear you. Okay, there we go. Yeah. Sorry, got, sorry, stream people. It turns out that it looks like when Streamlabs crashed, it uh, reset my mic input. That's on me. So, if you don't know what happened, Calicus became a Chaos spawn, uh, n very nearly killed Orbe, then got killed by Scrapper <sighs> with, a, with two well-placed plasma shots. And then Scrapper somehow pulled first aid like yep out of his ass and adrenaline made you a medic yeah <laughs> um yeah the door slams shut um we don't know a way out of here though like this place okay. is a maze so on that side there was that access port yeah. i bet this side in the same place there's that same access port. That's a good call. So, Scrapper's gonna lead us, lead the group that way. Yeah, give me a survival roll. Or, no, tech, tech. Give me a tech roll. Okay. Six successes. Very good. You realize very quickly that this structure is not symmetrical. Shit. Um... So, like, again, it was designed by Chaos Cultists, so it's not going to be the most orderly of devices. And so pretty quickly you realize, like, oh, uh, we're probably lost. Uh, well, but you're able to figure, like, if that's the engine room, then we can maybe follow these pipes and these cords to, like, a weapon system or a shield, because that would re need a lot of power. So, like, if you want, you can find your way to the uh, void shield generator. Okay, yeah, we'll go there. Yep. Uh, I'll just say, you guys have to fight your way through the corridors. Um, the soldier who is not being played by anybody is going to be carrying Orbe's uh, limp body. Um, but the two of you, uh, not Calicus anymore and Scrapper, managed to carve a path through some very startled, blood-packed soldiers until you reach the uh, the void shield generator. The whole room hums with a disquieting power. Just the being near this thing, it makes your all your hair stand up on end. It gives you chills. And you can almost see the air vibrate around this device. Mm, is it like space marine buzzing? It, it's like that times ten, because it's a void shield. It's not like they're ten space breeds, it's cause that's what a void shield does. You'd have been on a oh. you'd have been on your spaceship and would have known what it felt like when the void shield kicked on. It felt like that. Okay, so, just making sure we're not dealing with some space marine bullshit again. So this thing shields the whole vehicle or Yes, it is a void shield for the whole vehicle. Now, for those of you who don't know, in a Warhammer lore, a void shield, the way it works, is essentially a shield that when projectiles get shot at it, it just opens a hole to another dimension and just sends the munition into that hole. Just makes it some other dimension's problem. Which, you know, works. <laughs> okay. So we are quickly counting down to when those explosives go off and blow this whole thing to smithereens. Eleven successes. Yup. <laughs> so, Scrapper immediately starts looking this thing over. Mm -hmm. He wants to collapse the shield down to just this room. Give me a tech roll. Give me a tech roll. That is... That's clever. I love that. That is good thinking. And I'm going to spend a glory on this because... Yeah, spend I want... as many as you fucking need, dude. Yeah. Alright. Oh. Five successes, but there's a complication. Machine spirit. Oh, boy. No! No, machine spirit. This is, like, the worst time for you to act 
out. So as you get, so you like, you're like, okay, I think I could, if I get to the access panel, I can override the shield generator. I can focus it down here so it just becomes a super intense shield really close. And as you yeah. start to fiddle with it, you turn, you know, you turn down the radius, turn up the power. Um, you start to feel a whispering in your head. At first, he'll just ignore it because he needs to... Yeah. And so as you find him the shield, it gets louder and louder until it says, Stop! Don't touch me! And then your hands just, you get shocked. Ugh. Yep. Or do you, do you let go of the thing, or...? Um... He would try to hold on because he needs to do this or die. Okay, let's see. Uh, what do you think would be an appropriate role for that? Well, there, I see that there's a determination. Yeah, that might be a good one. Yeah, I would say just give me a determination role. Okay. Uh, a six, a four, and a two? Very good. Very good. Despite the pain, uh, take, uh, take two wounds, okay. and you manage to hold on, and despite the protestations of the machine spirit of this void shield, which has been corrupted by a demon, of course, because it's chaos, this possessed machine spirit, you are able to fight it. Twist down the knob, get the void shield tight, disable the void shield from the outside, the whole ship starts shaking, as now... All the ordnance being dumped on it by Lord knows by every Imperial Guard formation that can see it is now actually doing stuff to it. And then you check your uh, your uh, chronograph, which is what they call a like a watch in that mm. in 40k, even though chronograph is a type of watch already. Uh, um, and countdown: three, two, one, and the world Whoa. around you turns to vapor. The, to describe the sound of what happens is impossible because the shockwave blasts any and all air from the area immediately, so there's almost no way to convey sound. Instead, you guys are thrown inside the void shield like a, a hamster in a hamster ball thrown by a rambunctious child, um, which I'll tell that story after the stream. Uh... And you each take uh, one wound each as essentially, like a hamster ball, the void shield generator with you guys in its sphere of influence is flung like a projectile from the exploding craft. Oh my dear sweet Jesus. It kind of, it bounces, rolls, and then the void shield fails leaving you all, like, just strewn out on the ground, fucking exhausted, very badly wounded, um, about two miles or so from where the thing exploded. Hopefully we're in our own territory. Above you, you, you feel as you, you're like, as you come to, you feel that humming and your teeth itch. Oh dear God. But as you look up, instead of the night blue armor, there stands a space marine in gleaming white, reaching out his hand to help you up. Scrapper just gives him a thumbs up. And with that, Harry, what, we will what's end Orbe's brother's tonight's name? episode. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope that was enough of a fucking roller coaster for you. Um. <laughs> I love oh, running right. super yes, chaotic yes, sessions. Yes. Um, and frankly, that was a lot of fun to run. Uh, thank you so much, players. If you'd like to plug your shit, uh, we'll start with Scrapper, then Calicus, then Orbe. Hey, everybody. I am the underscore touring on Twitter and elsewhere on the internet. You can see me back here for the next episode of Wrath and Glory uh, at 8 o'clock. No, 7 o'clock Eastern next Saturday. Hey, folks, I'm JT. Tonight I played Chaos Spawn. <laughs> you can catch me on Twitter at Sensomancer. And, uh, and you can catch me next Wednesday 
uh, in the fall game at uh, 8 p.m. Eastern. Hello, I am the Confused Pro. I have commissions open. Uh, you can catch me also on Wednesdays at, at 8. Um, I will not be here next Saturday, unfortunately, because I am the sleep study. Congrats. Mm. Hi, everybody. I am your host, uh, Harry, aka the Salubri Cat, on Twitter and just about everywhere, uh, host of the Saratoga by Night podcast as well. Tune in. Jane's in it. It's real good. Uh, yeah. What else? I am also in Wednesday's Fallout game. A lot of fun. Uh, and you can catch me here uh, next week, too. Uh, Blood on the Grandstand. Running uh, the insanely chaotic uh, Wrath and Glory game that I always do, because that's the best thing about Warhammer. It's sheer fucking chaos. Anyways. But before that, you can also catch him on Blood on the Grandstand. Yeah, that. Um, actually, no, not before this week. It's two weeks from oh. now we're doing Blood on the Grand Strand. But oh. yes, generally in that time slot before. It's a great chronicle. If you want to see me argue with a, with a bunch of... Uh, if you want to see me roleplay argue with a bunch of Vampire the Masquerade YouTubers and staff members, then go see that. It's fun. <laughs> I get to cause chaos. Uh, anyways, uh, we hear Vorpal Tales. We love you all so much. Have a wonderful night. And... Uh, Bye, well, everybody. Thanks for watching. Yeah, thanks for watching. The Bye -bye. Emperor Protects... Bye-bye. Yeah, the Emperor protects my ass. <laughs>